to reduce the United States to, quote, ashes and darkness. Again, this is more fallout from the U.S.-backed U.N. sanctions following North Korea's recent nuclear test. This as defense officials are telling Fox News that they are seeing mobile missile launchers being moved. This could be preparations for another launch. At the very least, it's a sign of caution, Bill. You know, Greg, you got an alarming warning about North Korea's intentions. What did you see? What did you find out? Absolutely, Bill. We got a chance today to talk to one of the finest North Korean analysts around, Seoul-based Andrei Lankov. He told us that North Korea is moving faster on nukes and missiles than anyone expected. And as for U.S. efforts to rein in the regime, listen to our exchange. I don't think, unfortunately, there is any way to stop them now. No way. Norway. A use of military force, but it will result to uh, the second Korean War, which is going to be an absolute disaster. Now, Lankov claims that sanctions and diplomacy are not going to work. The North Korea wants more nuclear-tipped ICBMs to target United States cities. And then they might talk, but only about a nuclear freeze in exchange for political concessions. Now, while he claims, Bill, that Kim Jong-un realizes that if he uses a nuclear weapon, it could be the end for him and the regime, and who he probably won't use it, he also says that there's a real possibility of a m mistake or, as Andrei Lankov puts it, bad luck.